Hey everybody, so today is going to be another baseball game vlog. Um, as you guys know by my previous videos, I've done a few spring training games and a few Marlins games. As we all know, I am a Marlins fan and as I said in other previous videos, um, my two favorite players, my two favorite players is Christian Gellich and AJ Ramos, which I'm wearing the shirt for. Basically, today's game is the New York Mets versus the Marlins. And the reason why I'm introing this is so that you guys kind of understand where I'm at with this because I am very conflicted. Let me hold this up for you guys. So before we go, AJ Ramos was traded over to the Mets. I've always been Marlins. Um, so now I'm kind of conflicted because now I have to choose who I'm going to root for, the Marlins or the Mets. I mean, I really don't care at this point who wins. I just get to see both of them. And yeah, I mean, with the Mets, AJ is number four. Just a post-Nicole edit from this intro because I did film this when AJ was originally retraded. He was switched back to number 44, so ignore me saying that he's 40 now and this. he's no longer 44. But... Somehow, some way, I'm gonna root for both teams. I mean, I'm gonna wear my 44 shirt for AJ, and then I'm gonna possibly wear my Christian Yelich jersey. I have two, and then I also have my personal one, which is my last name with the 24. Two is for Christian Yelich, which his number is. 21 on the Marlins and then four for Ramos, which was 44, but now he's only 40. But so four still works, but yeah, side note because I just noticed this. I'm gonna, am I gonna have to wear Mets stuff now? I mean, if it has Ramos' stuff, then I will wear Mets stuff, but. Yeah, I, I feel weird wearing other things besides Marlins, especially now that I can. Um, if you guys, I, I wasn't able to wear other MLB teams for a very long time. I was only allowed to wear Marlins, and that's a different story that I will put in maybe a, a story time later on. But yeah, that, so like, I don't know. I mean, at least with the Marlins. And I'm pretty sure this is cross MLB, all of MLB. They normally don't have t-shirts or merch made for pitchers. I mean, with the Marlins, they did have Jose Fernandez because he's a starter. And I can't think of any other starters that they actually sell merch for. But, like, AJ's a closer. So he really didn't really have merch. But you can go on to MLB and customize the t-shirt if you want to, which... I mean, I have this shirt, so I'm good, but what? I don't know, maybe I will get a Met stuff to root for him. Hmm, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I haven't been to a Marlins game that much this season. I mean, I've been busy working and all that good stuff, but let's have a little fashion show while I try on different jerseys and see which one I pick. And then let's get on the road to Marlins Park. So I'm not sure if you can hear me, 
but as you just saw the raffle, I did it and I got the ball. My friend, one friend first saw me do it and I did it again. And then I got a Derek Dietrich bag, which I'll show in the next clip because I don't have it. We have to wait till the end of the game to get it. And he's judging me. Um, then a second friend told me to go do it and I ended up getting a jersey for from spring training. It's uh, the first base coach, Hill from the Marlins. A third friend told me to go do it and I got another baseball which I already gave it to him and then a fourth friend gave me their credit card as well and do it and I got a Ryan Ellington name tag from their lockers so they're giving me their credit cards I'm just walking over there and go doing it since they're busy doing whatever stuff they're doing and we also did the 50-50 raffle so let's see if we win that but yeah let's continue with the game Bottom of the ninth, I don't think they're bringing AJ out because they have a three run lead. It's four to one. Marlins this has one. Mets have three. Four. So.
back from the game and it's like 11 25 and it's september 19th i'm not sure if i said that and all the other stuff um not so not sure what i said in the videos while i was there but they did hold on to the Derek Dietrich that I wasn't allowed to have it during the game so at the end of the game I had to go pick it up and here it is now let me get close so you guys can see it there it is and then it also has the authenticity sticker right there there and then you can kind of see it it's cracked and it has the pine tar that they use and they put on the bat so this is gonna go up against the other bat, which right now will go right there for now and then I'll move around because I also have the other bat right over there. But yeah, um, I need to go through all the clips and see what I need to blur out because I know I was cussing and doing other stuff and I don't wanna get this video flagged, and especially copyright music and stuff like that. But um, if some of the clips do stay, in there i was saying that i was very conflicted because i didn't know what to do i knew from the beginning that ramos was gonna go through the five players that were between when he started pitching to get to stanton because that's what he wanted to do and there's been interviews saying that he wanted to pitch against stanton and all that good stuff and since they were teammates uh this is the first time that they actually get to play against each other since aj got traded now i told my friend that was with me and you saw him earlier in the video that this was not going to be a win-win situation because marlon's fans that um are fans of aj are gonna we're are gonna we're either gonna be like if the mets won they're like oh well aj's a traitor this and like they were just gonna talk smack which it's gonna happen either way and now Mets side i'm pretty sure the mets are gonna be the same thing well he let them win because he came from them that's his whole team that's who brought him up that's where he was he came into the major leagues with so it's not a win-win either outcome of the game was gonna cause drama and smack i know i haven't gone on twitter i haven't done the whole searching of hashtag and stuff like that but i'll do it now while this uploads and get all that good stuff so while well, I'm actually importing the footage off of my camera into the computer to start editing this just came to my mind um, and that was going through the hashtag right now or AJ Ramos's name through Twitter and it's just bad everybody's talking crap like I said in the previous clip um, it wasn't a win-win whether he was gonna let them win or whatever like I said but what was going through AJ's mind or Ramos's mind while he was pitching to them, like it's that's not a good situation. And also towards the end and somewhere in the clips, again I don't know yet because I haven't edited it. If you could hear me, but you, I, I could tell since I've watched them so long that he was already in his head. He would. He was just getting to himself. He was overthinking stuff. Um, it, it just wasn't bad. And the clip that I have of him walking into the locker room, I saw somebody tweet saying that he was saying something, so I'm pretty sure he was mentally cursing himself out. And he he got off the field straight down the tunnel into the locker room. So that's, that's just, yeah. Okay, back to this. But that's pretty much this it, this video. Um... One other thing I want to say is that AJ Ramos's birthday is September 20th, which is in half an hour here. So at midnight, it'll turn to September 20th. Um, now, this video isn't going to go up until the 21st, which is Thursday. So it'll be kind of late, but I still want to say happy birthday, AJ. And I'll send him out a tweet because, you know, I love me some AJ. And I love Yellich too, but anyways, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, bye guys.